In this video, we'll take a look at the new Blue Eddy AC500 Plus B300S battery system. I've reviewed various small portable solar generators in the past, which are great for camping and powering smaller devices if the power goes out. Plus, I've shown you my whole home battery inverter backup system that can power critical electronics in my house. This system, it sits squarely in the middle of capabilities between these two extremes. It's in more of a class of products like the Eco Delta Pro and the Renogy Lycan 5000. But there are unique features about this product that put it above the current comparable offerings on the market. So here's what we'll cover. The primary specs and features of this model. We'll run it through various tests showing the unit's capabilities. We'll show how it stacks up against the competition. We'll answer the question, who is it designed for? I'll disclose how I get paid for these videos. And I'll give you my final thoughts on this unit at the very end. If at any time during the video you're interested in checking this unit out, I'll post links in the description and comments section below. So let's jump in. Features and Specs Here are the high-level numbers for each AC500. I say each AC500 because it can be combined with another AC500 to double the numbers that I'm about to run through. Each AC500 has a 5,000 watt inverter. Handling surge loads up to 10,000 watts, handling 3,000 watts of solar, and 5,000 watts of AC input. And combined with six B300S batteries, it can handle up to 18,432 watt hours of battery capacity. It's also backward compatible with their B300 batteries. You can double all of these numbers that I just ran through if you tie them together with another AC500 and B300S battery setup. Combined with another AC500, they can provide a 240 volt split phase system through a 50 amp plug-in on the front through a separate adapter. The 50 amp plug-in on the front, the system has a UPS functionality allowing you to power sensitive devices if you're charging it from an AC power source and the power goes out. You can also monitor the device through an app on your phone via Bluetooth or connect it to the cloud to monitor it via Wi-Fi when away from the device. On the front, it has three 20 amp plug-ins, two 30 amp plug-ins, a 50 amp plug-in, a 12 volt and 24 volt connection, USB charging plug-ins and a wireless charger on the top. Additionally, the B300S lithium iron phosphate batteries, they can actually operate independently of the AC500 head unit, allowing you to power them with 500 watts of solar, 500 watts of AC input, and are rated to 80% capacity at 3500 charge cycles. And one very unique feature is that they can self heat to allow them to operate in cold conditions. Test. I've had the unit for three weeks now, powering the AC and computer in my office on a daily basis. It's hooked up to 1600 watts of solar panels on my patio's roof. I tested the inverter's efficiency for AC and DC along with a pure sine wave test. It did return a pure sine wave, which was no surprise. For DC efficiency testing at 24 volts, I got about 77% efficiency. And for AC efficiency, I get 82%. Now, compared to the smaller solar generators that I've tested, these numbers are on the low side. It is a larger inverter and it draws a lot just to power the inverter, so it wasn't terribly surprising. I'll put the test results along with the specs of this unit in the Solar Generator Buyer's Guide spreadsheet, which I introduced in my recent Solar Generator comparison video. You can see how it stacks up against other units on the market. Competition. This mid-sized portable solar system is not nearly as crowded as the smaller systems which I've reviewed in the past. At the moment, I have two other units to compare it to which are in a bit of a similar size and price range. The EcoFlow Delta Pro and the Renogy Lycan 5000, which is a product I'll review later this month, but I'm not going to cover it in this video. So let's take a look at the EcoFlow, which is primarily its main competitor in this market. It can handle a charge of 1600 watts of solar input and 3400 watts from AC. It can output 3600 watts of AC power, and you can expand each up to 10.8 kilowatt hours by buying two additional batteries. For Blue Eddy, it can handle a charge of 3000 watts of solar input and 5000 watts from AC. It can output 5000 watts of AC power. You can expand each up to 18.4 kilowatt hours by buying six of their batteries. Both of these systems, EcoFlow and Blue Eddy, can be tied together with another unit to provide a 240 volt split phase system and you'll effectively be able to double all of the numbers that we just ran through. At the time of recording this video, the EcoFlow model is 3600, and the Blue Eddy AC500 and one AC300S battery are $3,200 during their pre-sell phase. Good fit? 
This channel primarily focuses on the preparedness community. And most of my followers, when shopping these units, they really want a few primary things. They want longevity, they want reliability, expandability, and affordability. That's a pretty tall order, but here's what I would say about each of these items. Regarding longevity, the batteries on this setup, they use lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. And if you're unfamiliar with this, there are primarily two types of lithium batteries in these types of devices. There are your standard lithium batteries, which typically can produce between 500 and 800 charge cycles at 80%, depending on upon how they're used. And then there's lithium iron phosphate, which if it's properly maintained, can get closer to 3,500 charge cycles at 80%. Now, the only downside with lithium iron phosphate is weight. It's a bit heavier, but I think the upside of higher charge cycles is worth it. Now, when it comes to reliability, Blue Eddy has an established name within this industry. And at this point in the channel, I've been primarily sticking with reviewing the more established companies such as Blue Eddy, Jackery, and EcoFlow. Plus, this unit has a three-year warranty, which is pretty unique in this industry. Now, regarding expandability, it does offer the largest capacity of these portable units. And lastly, affordability. At the time of recording this video, they're in the pre-sell phase at a discounted price. And I don't normally do pre-sells with companies as there's always the possibility of delays that the buyer has to accept. But I do make an exception for this company as they've had a large quantity of these produced and they're on standby. And I just never have had any issues with Blue Eddy up to this point as far as delivery. Compensation. A quick note on this, as I always like to be transparent. They did send this setup for free for this review. Now, I typically charge all the companies that I work with the production fee for the cost that I have to absorb of writing the script, of filming it, of editing. These all go into putting one of these videos together. But instead, I actually waive the fee on this video instead opting for an additional battery that I'll be using for projects in the future. I do get compensated with an affiliate commission for the sale of each unit. Final thoughts. Well, I hope this video gives you a real basic overview of the setup. Again, I want this video to provide you with at least a high level of information to help you determine if you're in the market for shopping one of these, if this is really gonna be the right fit for you or not. Now, I know many of my viewers are on a budget and something like this would seem excessive, but I know at the same time that others are in the market for a setup like this, which is again, why I do these videos, to give everybody options. Now, the key to the system is mobility and usability. It's modular and it's easily transportable if you need a system that you could easily grab during an emergency. Additionally, it is a setup that doesn't require any knowledge of how it works. It's just plug and play. Now, I say all that because inevitably there will be comments that a DIY system is better and more affordable. To that, I would say yes, maybe a little more affordable, but at the moment they're running a deal online. Again, I'll post a link to it below, and it does make it more competitive at their current price point, even a DIY systems. Now, additionally, even with a DIY system, you're not really gonna pull it apart nearly as easy if you have to head out quickly. With this, you can easily disassemble it, throw it in the back of a vehicle and head out if you had to. Plus, there's not a learning curve with a setup like this. You just, again, pull it out of the box, plug all, uh, plug all the cords in, and it's pretty much ready to go. And if you watch my recent solar generator comparison video, I awarded the Blue Eddy AC200 Max as my recommended unit. And that was based on numerous tests we ran on all of these units. Now, if you're in the market for a mid-size portable power system, I do think that this is a solid option. Plus, Blue Eddy does have a strong track record. If I had any complaints about this unit, I would mention two primary things. The large cords that are required to connect the battery together with the AC500 head unit. They're annoying, but they're not the end of the world. I think for most people that would use something like this, they would set it up, plug in the cords, and probably never really pull it apart again. Secondly, you have to remember that with a larger inverter, and this one has a 5,000 watt inverter, it's not as efficient on a smaller load as a smaller inverter would be. You know, if you don't think you're gonna be pulling, let's say around 2,500 watts or so on an average usage, which 2,500 watts is 50% of its max capability, again, which is 5,000, if you're not going to be using it at that level, I would probably recommend you get a smaller unit. This setup is really designed for a bit more heavy lifting, but as a result, the inverter will not be as efficient on smaller loads. 
In my recent video detailing the best option for 2022, I mentioned this a moment ago, I awarded the AC200 Max as a winner. I think if you, if you have smaller demands, you just need some basic things to power, I think this would be a great option for that scenario. If you do have any questions, feel free to post those below, and I'll also post a link in the description and comment section if you'd like to check this unit out. I'll also post a link to the Solar Generator Buyer's Guide, and it has all the information on this particular unit, and again, you can compare it to other comparable options on the market. All right, stay safe out there.